Hello runners, so today we shall talk about one of the most highly hyped running shoe that almost everyone is talking about which is the Nike Zoom X Paperfly Next% Percent, which is sold out almost everywhere in the world including my country so for myself probably I'm not getting a pair of these because I'm not really an elite so I believe this particular pair of shoes right, uh, is for those runners who are running really really fast and in my opinion there is no best shoe in the world. I mean, in terms of the elites, maybe there are, for, but for our, uh, for us, right, the little percent that doesn't really make a difference to casual runners like us, right, probably we will want to get the shoe that's most suitable for our feet. That's the reason why I always wear stability shoes because of my flat feet and my over pronation issues. But regardless, even, even though I don't have the shoe, I would love, love, love to share a little bit of what all the hype is all about this Nike amazing shoe. If anyone doesn't know about the shoe yet, this is the uh, this is the next version of the initial version that Elliot Kijoge wore, wore to the Berlin Marathon where he broke the world record and the world record is still stand at the moment and this is the latest version, Nike Zoom Max Vaporfly. Of course, they have the Alpha Fly, which is another wonderful pair that he wore to to break the sub 2 during the uh, few months ago so, so today I shall go into all the top running shoes review website to see what the top reviewers, top critics uh, and uh, all the online folks are uh, what are they, those who have tried this particular type of shoe what are they talking about this shoe so let's jump right in so again if you are new to this channel my name is Runner Cow and I love to do running related content and if you like this type of content remember to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notification from me okay. So look at my screen, we are, we are at the Nike website, <laughs> okay. This is the Nike website about the Zoom X Paper Fly. A very nice particular site to go and promote this particular shoe. Look at how awesome it looks. So the pink color of this shoe seems to go the front and center of the promotion of this shoe. So it really looks nice on Kipchoge and uh, all, a lot of guys that I saw that uh, have worn this shoe, right? This particular pair, right? the color of the pink, it seems to really really go uh, blend quite well with the running attire of a lot of folks. So how is Nike promoting this particular shoe? Let's look at their website. Whoa, the, the biggest mobile statement is made to win. That's the reason why most athletes race in this shoe. It's the fastest. Yes. So let's look, go and take a look of some of the running top running shoe website and see what they are talking about the particular Zoomax. Okay, so runnersworld.com is one of my favorite sites to go and visit to look at all things running. So the running runners will take away with more full, more traction, more comfortable upper. The new Nike Zoom Max Vaporfly is a better Vaporfly. Okay, so it's a better version of the previous version. That's amazing. So how much does this shoe cost in general at the moment? It's saw everywhere. It's 250 US dollar and 6.6 .6 ounce okay that's really really crazy light so for my even for my own uh, running shoe at the moment it, it, it weighs around 9 to 10 ounce so this is really another level i have never ever worn a shoe this light before in my life so initially it was going to cost 275 but it went on sale 250 dollars in the end the 4% has already cemented its legacy at the start line across the globe and despite the fact it was designed for the world fastest marathoners, it became a must-have for advantage-obsessed runners, not me, sorry, at every ability level with a more forgiving ride and more comfortable upper. The new shoe is even better even if your big doesn't read Elliot or <laughs> shame. Okay, that's awesome. What I love to read is also about the comments by all the regular folks, huh? not just all by the experts. Okay. These shoes are absolutely worth the $250 price tag. Okay, this is by one of the guests on this particular website. Yeah. I have countless fractures, two surgeries, my I am so injury prone. Okay, uh, is he saying that this shoe is able to help runners uh, run without without so much pain and injury? My only complaint is they are very hard to come by. Yes, I truly agree. We can't really find a pair in my country at the moment. I acquired the pair by, by checking the Nike site daily. And when they stop, I jump on it. Okay, this is how crazy the shoe is at the moment. Everyone is jumping on the bandwagon of getting the shoe. Okay, there are some, of course, there are some guys who think that the $250 price that are way too expensive and way over the budget. Okay, this is normal. Because for my shoe, my most expensive shoe, right, from A6, I think it only costs around $150 to $60 US dollar. So this is way, way, way over my budget as well. And the next percent is crazy good. Okay, this is really, really a 
mostly at the moment, at, as, at, at least at runnersworld.com website, mostly positive reviews at the moment. We, maybe we proceed to the next website, the t3.com, another one, on the cool website that I love to read about shoes. So yeah, the running, the running shoes you get will unlock your full potential. Okay, it sounds really awesome. So it seems like everyone is talking good things about this site. But one controversy is a lot of people are talking about this uh, particular shoe because of the advance in technology, right? They are talking about uh, this as mechanical doping, which uh, in the end, right, I think the law, the judge, the, the, the sports judge or something like that, right? They did not, they did not agree, and eventually, right, uh, they give the go ahead for all different shoes company to go and input the carbon fiber plate into their own running shoe. That's the reason why every uh, every running shoe brand is doing the catch up. Almost every brand is uh, unleashing their own version of carbon fiber plate running shoes at this point in time. So in the conclusion for T3, running in the vapor flight next person can make a runner's energy management more efficient on long distances. This can give users the, of the shoes the competitive edge. So should you be willing to pay the premium price? Yes, again, we're talking about price. Okay, okay, the, the site is also very nice to let us know what are some of alternatives like if you really can't afford it. If you are a fan of other brands like there's also of course the Carbonex, the Hyperion Elite, Adidas, the Zero Pro, and of course the Alpha Next Percent and the other range of Nike issues as well. Okay, let's look at flipflip.com. <laughs> Look at the conclusion. The Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next Percent meet all our expectations. Okay, they didn't really they do not have any bad things to say about this shoe at the moment. It's faster than before, more cushion, more accommodating, tends to improve for a larger group of test runners. Even with limited testing time, flip flip runners felt how fast the shoes can be. I can I oh this is very strong words. I can feel myself being pushed forward every step one runner says. Despite being sleep deprived from traveling the area during the middle of the day. Running felt effortless is insane. Wow, that's very, very a strong positive feedback. Okay, next, we look at Believe in the Run.com. Nike has done it again. Wow, it's an improvement in the running shoe in the market. I don't care if you are running 5 minute mile or 8 30 mile, the shoe delivers on the promise to be more efficient. The more I read about all these reviews, the more I really want to have my hand on this particular pair of shoes, although I'm a casual runner. I mean, my dream on Nike will send me one pair, I don't know. But it won't single-handedly get you a PR, combine a good training plan, you will get the most out of your fitness set up for running day success. Okay, great. So, this another particular editor also say very, very good thing. I'm giving 100% credit to the next person. This is officially my PR chasing shoe. Okay. Last but not least, one of my most favorite website to read about running shoes is the runrepeat.com because I'm able to read so many, so many uh, reviews at one time. Uh. So this is the run review, uh, runrepeat.com and they also give an average score of their particular shoe. Okay, this one, get an 82. Okay, what, they, what this particular site did well is they really really summarized very well on what other people are saying about this particular shoe. So, 9 reasons to buy. There's 9 reasons to buy and 2 reasons not to buy. Majority of the users find the Vaporfly to be a lightweight running shoe, okay? Yeah, of course, a 6.6 .6 ounce only. Where can you find such a light shoe? Uh, they described it's the fastest ever running shoe they ever worn. Okay, improved compared to the previous version, which is awesome. Uh, provide a flawless fit. Okay, okay. Hold up better than its predecessor. Okay, great. It's great that Nike is improved. In, uh, is improving the shoe with every single version. It's the most cushion foam they have encountered. Okay, the fastest and responsive and lower drop. Okay, great. So now, after looking at so many uh, positive feedbacks, let's look at some of the negative. Uh. Two reasons not to buy. The flimsy quality of the thumb make it difficult to lay or stay in place on top of the foot, said a reviewer. A few consumers dislike the expensiveness of the Vaporfly Next Percent. <laughs> I would say literally it's only one negative review because the other one is uh, the price. So if we take the price out of the equation, right, I believe everyone will jump on the back and get the shoe ready. Okay, bottom line is consistently successful shoe release attest by running professional and casual runners. Okay, making a claim that shoe is huge upgrade from the Zoo Vaporfly Next Percent. The shoe's performance also allows some users it's a must-have for running. Are you sure? Are you kidding? That's the reason why everybody is so out. 
The reason why is every as well because it's still still uh, considered a new technology. I believe the running shoe brand they are still trying to get the production line in place so that they are able to produce in mass quantity. That's the reason why it's very very hard to get our hands on it at the moment. With very very little criticism so far, that's what I see. Really hardly any criticism at the moment. It's worth the purchase despite its hefty price tag. Okay, the most expensive shoe. It's worth the hefty price tag. That's what RunRepeat.com is saying. So let's look at some of the experts' reviews. So there are 25 expert reviews and average score of 93 over 100, which is very, very high for this particular site. Okay, well, let's see what Dan Biagi have to say. Here we go, Paper Fly. The shoe helped promise to get you running, get running even better than the Paper Fly 4%. A special shoe for special occasion. And this is oh, it's my fellow countryman. Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't able to purchase the elusive Vaporfly 4%. It's not was not available in Singapore stores. Yes, each time you come online, you saw it within seconds. So luckily, the next person had a much more oh, wider. So he still managed to get his hand on the shoes, but I had to purchase a half size smaller than my regular size because the regular size was so out. Oh, okay, he he so desperately wanted this shoe, although it's the size is not his natural fit is still go ahead and go and get the shoe this is how desperate uh, runners are for this shoe at the moment so if you look at this particular photo you, you, you get your hands on it at in the first initially in the beginning right you might not be used to it it looks like uh, it's squishy it goes all flat down but where anyway, it looks natural enough i would say there are lots of lots of experts review i could use this shoe very well despite high cost and wonderful daily run you have, don't have to be a world class runner to go and enjoy the shoe okay there are tons of reviews you can go to runrepeat.com to go and read at all the reviews that people, what people are talking about this particular zoom x all right guys so that's it this is what online reviewers online folks are talking about the nike zoom x paper fly next percent and from what you see from the video so far it's mostly positive feedback whether it's from the reviewers whether it's from the uh, regular folks like me it seems like despite the hefty price of 250 us dollar it seems to be a must have for all runners whether you're a casual runner whether you're an idiot so hopefully hopefully one day i'll be able to get myself a pair of this particular shoe as well and see how it goes out huh? hey guys how about you have you worn the shoe before feel free to share in the comments below on what you think about this shoe on whether you are uh, you're planning to get one as well or whether you are able to get your hands on it as well so if you like today's video please remember to give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel for more running related content remember to stay safe and keep on running